All right, this is Cinema on the Dock of the Bay. Oh, I love the title. And I've got two big, big, big movie stars here. Harrison Bender. <laughs> Thank you. Programming manager of the Sarasota Film Festival, correct? Correct, That's yeah. That's your yeah. title? And Gus Molasses, film critique, critique extraordinaire. Whoa, stop. Professor. I I just have to tell TV Harrison, star. thank you so much for the build-up. <laughs> Harrison, thank you for a great film festival. You just carried the baton. Uh, num uh, well done, my friend. Well thank done. you. Well, yeah, it, it was stuff. a team effort, uh, but, I, but I appreciate it. I very much do. Thank you. Yeah, I loved it. Fantastic. And I love talking movies with you as I do with uh, Miss Baker here. She's fabulous. Yeah. i got to say, I uh, when you asked me to, to join on this, I got really, really excited. This is, oh like, this is like why... I work in the right. to like talk about these movies, dissect these things. So I'm super excited. All right. Well, yeah. tell us something that you are excited about. Oh, wow. Um, well, uh, you know, I just saw, so this is like kind of like an aside. I feel like, I feel like we, we spoke a little bit about, you know, the Jim Jarmusch film that Gus and I actually ended up seeing together. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, the Dead Don't Die, and then um, and then you had brought up Joanna Hogg's The Souvenir, yes. um, which I was very fortunate to see uh, at a press screening at Sundance. Um, but you know what I just saw for the first time? Uh, I've been, so in this off season, I've sort of been catching up with these, with older cinema. And sure. uh, I think every cinephile has these blind spots, right? And so my blind spot, uh, one of my many blind spots, of course, is uh, is... Kurosawa, especially oh, wow. late oh, area yeah, yeah. Kurosawa. Wow. So uh, I started watching High and Low oh, wow. uh, in 1963 and uh, was just really, really taken with like the blocking and the pacing of it all. And it was just very, very not much like, you know, I, I saw Seven Samurai and Yojimbo uh, and, and High and Low is not like this in a, in, not like those films in a, in a really great way. Um, but um, yeah, that's something that really has, has excited me wow. recently. Um, but, we, but we can talk about anything. Did you stream yeah, I, that? Did you stream that? I on did. Criterion? Yeah. Yeah. Is that you? Have you are in that club? Yeah, I'm, I'm actually. I, I they had the whole um, uh, like Prime member or like whatever. What, what the, the charter members? I think they call it. Sure. Uh, so, so tell us about that because we're we're having withdrawal from Video Renaissance. So, so <laughs> folks like us. <laughs> right. Is that worth the nine ninety five the the little uh, subscription? Definitely, for that? absolutely. I think uh, what, what Criterion is doing is is super super important. And and you know it, like it, it, the, the whole the whole landscape of access to important films has been uh, you know like a roller coaster ended, yeah. at best, right? Mm -hmm. Like the right. and so like you know we've been there's been a lot of discussions online that I've been a part of where there are like there are platforms that provide you know access to films that you can't find anywhere else um, and you know a, a, a while back I remember uh, you know in, in the history of streaming it wasn't until oh no now it's escaping me the name of the the, the film, precursor film, film guide film uh, no it was uh, shoot uh, filmstruck Filmstruck, thank you. So the precursor to Criterion was Filmstruck, and that was a relationship between the you know Criterion Collection, Yanis Films, and um, and um, uh, and Warner. Right. And they had all their films together, and then when Filmstruck ended, that was just like such a huge blow. I oh think my god! Yeah. Because you know otherwise you don't you only your only access to these uh, films or you know through libraries, yeah, right. you know through video stores that are unfortunately oh you know being god. removed in, in said, small yeah. cities, you know right. And and so like the only access is is having these digital spaces, right? And and I think that it's you know in in a way it's like a evolutionary boom. Like there's no replacement of a no. of in person um, camaraderie, you know, and yeah. Face to face. There's something yeah. there's something there's something really special in a lot of different ways. I don't even mean that in like a nostalgic sense, though, no, a very no. real sense. No, I get it. Of of um, you know of the of um, of you know video rental stores yeah, and things yeah. like that, right? Yeah. Um, but there's something I think to be said about the evolution of the of film like discourse and cinephilia discourse sort of like coming into fruition online, right? So when we see Filmstruck evolving into Criterion Collection, uh, which has been which was fabulous, uh, the Criterion Channel rather, uh, you know, they're like like Filmstruck, they're adding like additional materials so that people get you know like access to uh, commentaries. Right. Uh, trailers. Right. There's a lot more like inf informative auxiliary material there 
that helps like shape out people's interest in okay. the film that they like. About how big a library is it, um, Harrison? You know, I'm actually not sure. Um, I but know it's that, pretty I know extensive. That, yeah, it's pretty wide. It, I mean, if it you switches can get out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Kurosawa, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I mean, right now, like they're they're doing a whole Kurosawa thing, so they have okay. Probably, I think his entire. Oh my god! Really? Wow. Yeah, that's so cool. Um, but they definitely like they move things in and out. Sure. Uh, and and they also program too, so it's not just like here's an index of stuff, which they have, of course. Yes. You can search, you know, by index, but they have, you know, they they program for, uh, they have you know double features. They have, you know. Um, like films about I remember in, the, in Filmstruck they had like films about math I remember one that like that, that was like huh. so like they, they definitely do programming sure. in addition like like I think that's like the core selling point of so the Criterion channel so they're filling that void they're filling that void they're filling that void in, in a really big way especially because you know uh, you know Netflix you know Amazon and these and these bigger organizations they yeah. they're not really stepping up when it comes to films spot. made before sure. 1980 and and no shame on films made after 1980 that right. are great but you know it's it's harder and harder to find and you know well, you know it's we interesting it. I'm doing research for Jim Prozer our right. friend and it's sort of scary how researching online I as a teacher I used to be able to find stuff way back and suddenly it's like there's nothing that old online, which is sort of scary. It's almost like we're washing away history. And, you know, again, to the films, too. You know, I mean, you've got to go to these sites, special sites, to get them, but at least there's a place. Well, I'm going to take his referral, and I'm oh, going to sign sure. up. I'm signing yeah. up. So they got a... That's a nice little... Absolutely. Yeah, and, yeah. and I also want to shout out um, Ovid, too. Uh, Ovid is a um, uh, is sort of like a um, an omnibus distributor slash streaming platform. Um, How do you spell that? Uh, uh, Ovid, O V I D. Okay. Uh, and it's a it's a it's a streaming platform uh, that it has lots of different distributors a part of it. I think First Run is a part of it. Grasshopper Films are a part of it. Newer stuff, artsy films. Newer art, like yeah, like newer art house films. films. Yeah, like the, like smaller films, uh, films that would be you know at, at regional film festivals, Burns Court, things like sure. that will appear there. Okay. Uh, the, That's good so to know. so the, the, there's lots of access. Movie is another one. There, there, there are lots of uh, like unique and exciting ways in order to view films uh, that otherwise can't be seen. Um, yeah, I went on a Joanna Hogg kick after the souvenir, mm-hmm. and uh, Voodoo I found unrelated, which was a, a film of hers that was highly rated. So I, I watched that on Voodoo. But again, it is hard. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's funding. It's uh, b- between. I think between Ovid, Criterion Collection, movie, and um, yeah. and even and even Canopy, um, Canopy just has uh, Frederick Wiseman's like uh, most of oh. his films. The documentary um, yeah. is fabulous. Yeah, and and uh, up until then, you know, like most of his work prior to the more recent ones, you know, that Sephora released, you couldn't you couldn't access them. Where are you going to find them? Yeah, I, I I believe you had to be you know. Uh, a college, like some sort of educator, in order to in right. order to get access to the licensing, right? But now, you know, I saw um, what did I see? I saw uh, Trikat Follies uh, for the umpteenth time, yeah. And I saw um, what did I see recently that was uh, of his too? It may have been. Oh no, it was. Uh, it wasn't high school. It was uh, boot camp. So. You know, like ten years ago, I wouldn't have been able to see boot camp at all. Yeah. Now I can see everything. That's you know, good. he's done. And 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 on, on the Criterion channel, oh, by the way, it, uh, because you're on a kick, they actually have all of her films right now. Okay, That's cool. such a cool thing. We get yeah. like a yeah, couple yeah. referrals yeah, here. Yeah, thank you. Because I bumped into you at the zombie <laughs> yeah. movie. I want to go to the zombie thing because I, I know you're a big Jarmish guy and mm-hmm. I'm a fan as well. Um, tell me, are you a big zombie fan? Are you a big zombie? Uh, genre kind of person or you know I wouldn't say so necessarily I think some like the bigger I'm, f- I'm very familiar with you know of so, some of the bigger and, yeah and Living Dead which is such an iconic that whole series you know the reboot of that um, but but I, I wouldn't say that like I haven't seen you know yeah all of them like well, I haven't seen Zombie Zombieland like, uh, oh, no, I've seen Zombieland oh, yeah. but I haven't, I haven't seen was that that one I, I haven't that seen the good. film uh, like like early films that have sort of like Informed, you know, the pre-Romero, uh, like horror. I so I I, I, w- I wouldn't say like I'm <laughs> I'm I'm like an expert on, on anything like zombie related, but I was sort of interested by 
by the different takes that Jarmish had in that film in particular. It was very, I think, I think it, it was a very, it was a, the most Jarmish film, I think, you could get. And what I mean by that is that it was very incisive and very lacerating and very tongue-in-cheek uh, about a lot of things while at the same time having this kind of uh, I don't want to I don't want to I don't want to call out like Gen X necessarily but just having like this like swagger of like you know like it's it's slow paced right like people speak really slowly in the film you know they they, they, they say what they mean a lot there's not a lot of like subtext no. you know like things like that so it Drink really the fourth wall. yeah exactly so like it like the the, the the joke is is there in plain sight but uh, and in that regard I, f- I feel like that's like that's its strength it's sort of this is gonna end badly yes yeah <laughs> right yeah <laughs> yeah say in the film. yeah you know it's like, charming though it, you go you have to go right. for the ride though I, I, I definitely I, I, I just think that um, you know uh, like Jarmish commands yeah. access for these 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 this cast right Bill Murray oh, yeah. is a uh, you know, yeah, like, to, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, um, like, until the point in, right, yeah, exactly, <laughs> like, it, it's coffee and cigarettes all over again, I know, right? I love that right? movie, that was you know, and so, like so he, he's scene. able to, yeah, yeah. he's able to, like, command that, uh, in, in such a way, um, that, you know, I think for younger audiences who may be expecting something different from a crowd like this, Adam Driver, right? Yeah. You know, like, they're, like, they're going to see, they're going to see something that's very, you know, not what you would expect, right? From 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 a a zombie comedy starring Adam Driver, right? Adam you know? Driver, he's got such a presence, doesn't he? He does, and he doesn't have to yeah. do much. I'm no. jealous. No. <laughs> Patterson, he plays a bus driver, but it's so poignant. Yeah, it was he's beautiful. believable. Yeah. And him and Murray are great. And Buscemi's in this. There's so many. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sauvignon, you know, Tell all the these swim. all these very small um, film people are in a lot of independent films. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's cool, and it's kind of like a family picture. Yeah. So if it, it finishes well for you, because I. I just was kind of Tilda Swinton. It's just like it's just incredible performance. Oh uh, right? yeah, I, I mean, strange, for, but for but me. She's, oh no, continue. Sorry. No, yeah. no, no. She just she felt like well, who she was and who she be. I don't want to give a spoiler. That's Roxy's thing. No spoiler alert. <laughs> right. Well, okay. So I mean, I, I think we could speak freely a little bit about sure. the political yeah. nature of like about like you know zombies as a like a wider metaphor for like climate change, but also about you know the the you know hashtag the way we live now like where you know where zombies are they the, in the film zombies do what they had done previously which was go through their phones and drink and, coffee yeah and drink coffee you know and, and, and things like that and, and and i think i think there's like there's two sides to that right that i think their drama is really great at getting at which is that one it might be like a kind of like really blunt way of of satire that that doesn't really that doesn't really finish well I think because you know because it's it's not it's not really insightful about about people like when you when you complain about people on phones it's like well that's yeah. everyone does that everyone. right you know but it, but but he's not the the, the film doesn't satirize them uh, the, the other side of this is that is that uh, you can read as like not satirical and that people go back to what they were doing right yeah. like like part of part of the the thing about of uh, you know, of wanting to, of being re reliving, right? Is right. doing what you were doing before, yeah, and mm-hmm. these were people who were going playing tennis, to, actually playing tennis, tennis. nobody going, plays like, tennis being today. Action, things like that, right? Which is like, like I, like, I think like a, a pretty, a pretty interesting statement about you know about how how we live, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And especially in conjunction with the with the obvious um, you know climate change yeah. aspect of the film too. So I, I felt it, I felt it was really. Uh, uh, like really like incisive and polemical and like in these like unique interesting ways that I think only Jarmish could do mm-hmm. uh, I think I remember reading a review by Richard Brody and he said that it was a it was it was Jarmish's first late film like a late period Jarmish film and and it's hard hard to disagree with that um, but I will say entertainment wise like if you're expecting I think <laughs> like a zombie movie uh, I think maybe it leaves something to be desired you know, uh, maybe some of the jokes land flat. Kill the head. You know, yeah. <laughs> it might be. You know, so I, I think uh, I, I liked it, but I'm, but I'm not, I'm not like enthusiastic about it in the way that 
in in the way that the charms of even a coffee and cigarettes yeah. was. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I do very much appreciate yeah. it. Like, when was his last film, actually? I can't remember. Uh,